A very good evening all, I'm Aditi Lama and this is the Thursday night edition of Vision of Asia. Welcome to our daily South Asian news segment. We are wrapping up quite an interesting week which saw many celebrities, prominent figures, Bollywood features and lots of voices from the diaspora here. We have a packed episode tonight comprising of both national and local highlights from ACO's $3.1 million fundraiser to Ambassador Nikki Haley's on her new book and much more. Remember, our email is events at itvgirl.com. Make sure to reach us if you have a story, a voice to share with our audience. Also, for all our Indian Americans, today, November 14th, celebrates Children's Day or Baal Divas all across India, honoring the birth anniversary of India's first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The day is dedicated to increasing awareness on the rights and education of children in India, a social cause which truly impacts all Indians and a cause we are continuously reaching out for. With that time to begin tonight's episode, let's take a look at the headlines. Ekal Vidyalaya Foundation raises $3.1 million 2019 gala Future of India featuring Vivekanand Oberoi in New York City. Former U.S. Ambassador to the United States Nikki Haley on her new book, with all due respect, defending America with grit and grace. Abhi New Jersey hosts annual convention gala and fundraiser 2019 in New York. Indo-American Lions Club hosts food drive in Long Island, New York. A lot more on the other side of the break. Save this on Vision of Asia. Our voice of the community will be right back. Welcome again, I'm Aditi Lamba and you are watching the Thursday night South Asian news segment, Vision of Asia. Beginning the episode, let's take a look at another edition of Ekal Vidyalaya Foundation's very successful 2019 gala, Future of India, held at the Gotham Mall in New York City. The foundation proudly raised $3.1 million for its program to eradicate illiteracy from India providing education to the most underserved and tribal children of India. Supporting his goal of 100,000 schools by 2020, Ekal Vidyalaya Gala saw distinguished members from the diaspora, politicians, Bollywood celebrities and many more highly speaking about their passion for Ekal. Chief Guest of Honor, Bollywood icon Vivekanand Oberoi embraced all pledging his efforts and great works with his partners and friends to spearhead an initiative bringing small-scale solar power solutions to Ekal villages. The foundation is now also a recipient of the Gandhi Peace Prize, one of the highest honors from the government of India with its focus on holistic developments of Indian villages. An event commemorating game-changing non-profit work will bring you tonight more highlights from the 2019 Future of India Gala featuring our conversations with key Ekal individuals, donors and Bollywood playback singer Shibani Kashyap. Let's take a look. Watching us at the Ekal Vidyalaya 2019 Gala at the Gotham Mall, and I have the privilege and honor of having to my left Bollywood playback singer, the heart of the nation, Shibani Kashyap, and with us our grand chairman of ITV Gold and Parikh Global Media, Dr. Sudhir Parikh. Thank you so much for joining us on ITV Gold. Dr. Parikh, I have to ask the beautiful lady next to us 
Ekal Vidyalaya Shivani is such an incredible charity. Millions of children are being helped. And today you're really going to bring Bollywood to the stage. How are you feeling today? And you know, how important do you think it is for Bollywood celebrities to really showcase, you know, so much support and love? Hi Aditi, thank you so much for having me on ITV Gold and thank you so much Dr. Parekh. Lovely meeting both of you. Uh, yes, I'm very excited and very honored that you know I'm a part of something which is such a lovely charity, such a noble cause. And I think Bollywood uh, is, is not just about entertainment, we should think beyond ourselves. And this is one way to give back to the society and also meet like-minded people like all of you. Everyone's here in support of this lovely mission, this lovely charity in this gorgeous grand place called Gotham Hall. Yeah, so it's, it's fun and being interviewed by such a, yes. you know, vivacious, gorgeous girl like you, Aditi. Oh, and meeting so such an amazing person like Dr. Parikh. So sweet. Yeah, it's fun. Really, really nice. You know, Dr. Parikh, it's amazing having such amazing Bollywood right. celebrities speak so humbly. You know, uh, t talk to me about how important it is for us to show them supporting, you know, these amazing causes and bring them to media, especially for, uh, you know, foundation like Ekal. What are your thoughts? Because you've been with Ekal and you're a huge supporter of Bollywood, you're a huge supporter of artists. So I want to get your thoughts on how, how, you think, how you're seeing everything come together. Well, uh, Ekal Vidyala is a great organization and not only that, but it, now it's uh, 18 years old and, and has 100,000 100, schools in the tribal area. And it started with, at my home in 2001. And uh, now it, it is, it is uh, such a big organization, we all should support it because education is very important, particularly in the tribal area, because those uh, children, if you don't educate them, they end up in uh, being an exilite or they end up being in a terrorist. So, so it is very important and uh, I request uh, uh, Shivani, like a uh, person who, from the Bollywood stars, I mean uh, celebrities, to help us to promote uh, Ekal Vidyalai and promote the good cause and, and, and help the poorest of the poor in uh, India. Thank you. Gala at Gotham Hall and it's an absolute honor and privilege to have with us Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney, a person who's truly behind celebrating Indian culture. Diwali post stamp, we all know, is everywhere in this country thanks to her and all her hard work. Thank you so much for being with us here on ITV Gold. How are you feeling supporting such incredible Indian organizations throughout the nation and so much love you have for the community? I just want to know, what is that in-depth reason for it? Oh, the, I have many Indian American friends. It is a great country for the years of over 70 years of independence. Our two countries have been great friends, great uh, strategic partners, and great allies in trade and in so many ways. And it has helped both of our countries to be more just and prosperous. Uh, so we have so much in common. And the Indian American community is so successful. In, in America. They are leaders in so many ways. There are a number of Indian Americans that I serve with in Congress and uh, I was there in Houston for that great event. For Howdy Modi. Yeah. And, and now I'm working on something very important. It is the 150th anniversary of Gandhi and I have put in a bill to grant the highest award that can be given by Congress to Gandhi. Uh, we have already given it to Dr. Martin Luther King, and Dr. Martin Luther King said his spiritual leader, in fact, when he died, he was holding, or he had the book of Gandhi. So he was, uh, he taught nonviolence, that's a part of our culture, so I hope to pass it this year so that we can have a big celebration in, in uh, the People's House, the Congressional Capitol, to honor Gandhi and his contributions, not just to India, not just to America, but the whole world. Um, and right now we are here at the Ekal Vidyalaya 2019 Gala. I am joined by Mr. Surendra Kumar Jindal, also known as SK Jindal, one of the top most donors and a passion, true passion that he has for Ekal Vidyalaya. Jindal, you thank you so much for being with us on ITV Gold. I have to ask you, you are very humbly one of the top most honors of Ekal Vidyalaya. You have really invested your energy and time in it. You have traveled all the way from India um, for this event. May I ask you, what really transpires that? And why such a dedication to a cause like Ekal? 
In simple verse is madness. madness. One has to be little mad to do something good. But madness, if it is done for good, is good madness. So this is, I feel that uh, the passion I have makes me do it, such things. I love it. I enjoy it. And it gives me a divine pleasure kind of thing, which my own business doesn't give. This gives. When I work for Ekal, I spend about 10% of my time for Ekal on an average. And I have told them, anytime, anything, anywhere, let me know. I am ready for Ekal. So if somebody is not available, doesn't matter. You just let me know, I'll handle it. And I have been doing it and they know, they know me for that, that if nobody is available, he will go because he has committed. So it works very well. It gives me a good feel also. And you see, the best part is what Ekal does to me. Ekal does much more to me in return. Uh, I get a lot of positive energy. I get a lot of happiness from it. I get a lot of thrill. I get a lot of uh, pleasure. All positive. And best part is the benefit of my family is there that they also understand that we must work not only for ourselves, but for society. And when you think of society, the purpose becomes big, and you think big. If I have to think about only five members of my family, it is nothing, how much they need. But if I think about Ekal, the needs are much more. So I work for Ekal from that point of view because it makes me feel big. If I would have been working without Ekal, suppose I put Ekal on the side, then comes a small family of five people I'm looking after, which is nothing, which is very ordinary. But when I'm working outside of that also, hmm. so it gives, gives me a real feeling of, a real purpose of my life, that I should be working hard, and I should be working for those people, giving back to the society. When I see other people doing it, I get inspired. When people see me doing it, they get inspired. So this is how it goes. And I have the honor and privilege of having one of the key founders for Ekal Vidalia USA, Subhashi with us. Subhashi, it's so great to have you here with us on ITV Gold. I know you have so much passion and love for Ekal, but if I was to ask you, for anybody that's watching you on ITV, why Ekal? Since when Ekal? And how big of a change for Ekal? What would you say? Uh, Aditi ji, Ekal has had phenomenal success in empowering the rural folks in India. We have over quarter million families uplifted because of our Ekal economic uh, development programs and education. And uh, we started back in 2000 and it has been a wonderful journey ever since. From New York, let's now take a look at New Jersey, which recently saw the annual convention gala for API, American Association of Physicians of Indian Origin. The New Jersey chapter of API is dedicated to building a stronger impact in advocating the rights of Indian physicians, promoting better and quality patient care, and strengthening bridges with other communities and organizations. With Indians making such a huge impact on the state of New Jersey, API hopes to be an engaging aspect for health awareness and resources for the diaspora. The gala saw prominent health professionals and others coming together to celebrate a night with friends and family. Highlight of the event saw a musical concert featuring singer Bhavan Shatsri. Let's take a look. I'm Dr. Sudhir Parekh and I have with me uh, President of the New Jersey State uh, API, uh, Dr. Binod Sina and uh, uh, Vice Chairman of the Convention, Chairman of the Convention of the uh, API Gala, 
Dr. Raj Bhayani, who is also a national treasurer of the API. Uh, and uh, really, uh, I must congratulate uh, President Binod Sina and uh, uh, Chairman uh, uh, Raj Bhayani for the such an excellent gala put together and really revived the API from the ashes like a phoenix and so uh, we, we all are with you uh, dr sina and uh, raj and uh, we would like to make again the api uh, glorious api just like we used to have in uh, early uh, 2000 uh, 2001 to 2010 so let's make it and get the, all the chapters together uh, and uh, be part of the large api and make a difference so uh, uh, again congratulate uh, congratulations to Dr. Sina and congratulations to Dr. Bayani. Let's, uh, uh, Vinod, can you say a few words? Uh, thank you, Sudhir. G good friend. He is uh, my family friend. He is a fam friend of the whole community. He has achieved so much. He is most successful, and not as a doctor, but an entrepreneur and a businessman. He has a vision. He has done that. We have to learn from him. And I'm very happy that he came and joined today for this gala event. Thank you, Sudhir. You are my good friend. Thank you. Sudhir Bhai is the backbone of Indian society. He has become legend in India, uh, in Indian leader in New Jersey as well as all over the USA. So we're very proud that Sudhir Bhai is a part of our team. And with his guidance and his mentorship and with Dr. Vinod Sinha's hard work and his leadership, New Jersey State RP will reach new heights, I have no doubt, with everybody committing to this, to the betterment of the New Jersey State RP. Thank you all. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Dr. Ravi Kohli. I'm the Secretary of RP National. I'm here to attend the New Jersey RP chapter meeting. We have a dynamic CME programs and uh, various other activities going on all over the nation. And New Jersey chapter is doing their gala dinner today. Please come and join. And RP also has a membership drive for $100. Please join RP. Telugu, uh, Telugu Dr. Sandra Kuda, Apila join I, Apin is Saktivantan Jayamani Adutanana. Please Dai Chesi, Apila Jaina Vandi. Api is a strong and dynamic force for good. Please join and make it strong. Our, sh our uh, strength is in our numbers, our Sakti is in our Shankya. Please join and make Api a, a grand, uh, successful uh, organization for force for good. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Hi, my name is Dr. Hetal Gore and I'm one of the entertainment chair for New Jersey State RP, which is a New Jersey chapter for National RP. Here we uh, are doing a lot of activities, CME, lectures, gala, and this is one of the best ways to combine a uh, lot of chapters of New Jersey which belong to RP. Um, we are having a special drive for $50. You can join New Jersey State RP. So please visit our website www.newjerseystaterp.com or you can contact me, Dr. Hetal Gore, and I hope to see you all who are New York, New York and New Jersey members who live in New Jersey. You can always join New Jersey RP. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vijay Bhai. Thank you, Padma Shri, Dr. Sudhir Parikh, for always helping uh, RP and supporting us and guiding us. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Ajay Loda. I'm the past president of Na National RP. Today we have gathered here in Double Tree Hilton to celebrate the grand gala of New Jersey State API. It is a great moment for us. It has been a very grand gathering organized by the President Dr. Vinod Sinha who has worked really very very hard to organize this great event and I see here there are a lot of guests coming from all over the country from National API, every lot of uh, prominent leaders from National API are here, API Treasurer, API Secretary, Chairman Board of Trustees because you know we have a lot of respect for Dr. Vinod Sinha and uh, the cause of this function is a very great cause for the charitable reasons and uh, I am very proud and honored to be part of this great event. Thank you.
the show break. Stay tuned on to Vision of Asia. We'll be right back. And welcome again. You are watching Vision of Asia South Asian news segment. We now have a segment featuring former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley on her new book, With All Due Respect, Defending America with Grit and Grace. An Indian American, Ambassador Haley is an American diplomat and a politician, widely known for her forthright manner and confident representation of America's interests. Presenting much on topical issues and social norms that impact Americans, she places her full commitment into this book by reflecting much on bridging America's divisions. Let's take a look at the story where Nikki Haley discusses tackling gun violence, racism and essence of all that divides our communities as well as unites. Very intriguing. Let's take a look. When South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley was sworn in, she became the state's first female governor. The results are what I promised the people of South Carolina, and results is what I'm determined to give them. You know, I don't think it's swagger, I think it's passion. I am very passionate about defending the United States. As Nikki said, the world is really respecting the United States again. didn't know that I would be elected into the legislature. I didn't know that I would be governor. I certainly never thought I would be UN ambassador. Even though I'm a private citizen now, I know I'm too young to stop fighting. Are you planning to run in 2024 for president? So this is the thing. I'm going to be honest with you here, just like I was honest in the book. The key is you have to believe me when I say this, because I think that's the heart. So I've never been that person who thought five years and ten years out. I just wasn't. That was my sister. My sister was like that. I was never like that. I really took to heart um, my parents and what they said to me, and they always said, whatever you do, be great at it and make sure people remember you for it. And so anything I did from the corporate world to being governor to that was I would throw myself into a job and just do the very best that I could. And when I did, doors would open. And that was the lesson that I had to learn to push through the fear. Because so many times when a challenge comes in front of us, we take a step back. And I taught myself to push through the fear. And what you find when you do that is you're so much stronger when you make it to the other side. If I didn't push through the fear, I never would have ran against a 30-year incumbent in a primary. If I didn't push through the fear, I certainly would not have become governor. If I didn't push through the fear, I wouldn't have you know, even considered the job of ambassador. And so I've always found that when you push and set yourself up for success, then things happen. A year is a lifetime in politics. So it would be a waste of energy for me to think about 24 at this point. Instead, what I want to do is just do everything I'm doing really well now and just see if doors open. And then we'll find out. Let's now take a look at Long Island Indo-American Lions Club and its recent works of volunteer and giving back to the community. Comprising of some of Long Island's prominent community leaders and advocates, the Lions Club hosted a food drive project collecting boxes of food and donations for the one in need. The Lions leader delivered food boxes to Mary Brennan Inn in Hampstead where 400 to 500 homeless people are given food every day. Lions Club International is the world's largest service organization with volunteers submerged into humanitarianism and volunteer services. Community update for today. Remember to come out this Saturday, November 16th to Akshay Patra, New Jersey Diwali Gala at the Double Tree Hilton in New York. Guest of honor will be Bollywood icon Anupam Kher. Join us as we celebrate Akshay Patra for feeding 5 million children 
every day in government schools of India addressing childhood hunger. Also watch Vivek O'Broy's exclusive full interview on Saturday, November 16th at 10.30 a.m. on Inside Scoop. And that is all for tonight's show. Remember to send us your suggestions and get your voices and organizations on our show, especially if you are giving back and raising awareness for nonprofits. Email us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at ITV Gold. Remember to also now subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch many of our popular shows for free. Thank you for tuning in tonight. This is Vision of Asia and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.